Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm performing live here in my Boca Raton office with my patient. And it was so gracious to allow me to video her treatment today. We're doing a class 5 uh, composite resin filling. The tooth number is number 6. Let's look at it closely together. And so we look at the profile and we see that there is a lesion that's approximately and when we say lesion there is no decay that's just from toothpaste um, abrasion and also could be from flexure on this canine perhaps so you're almost about four millimeters in length we've got about uh, four by four and width and in depth at the deepest portion, very close to two and a half millimeters in depth. So we're going to clean the surface, meticulously clean it. We'll place some Siltrax core below the gum line. We might even give her a little bit of topical, which is Sidicane. We'll do that first uh, and prep it, slightly prep it. I'm just going to score the surface. And kind of roughen the interface a little bit so that when we join composite to enamel, it's going to be almost seamless. And that's our goal is to make it look like she's grown some new enamel in that area. Same color. We'll try to blend some colors together and maybe two to three colors, multicolors together. Come up with the final result. All right, so let's go ahead with the topical. We'll get that in there next. Cytokine. So dental assistance can now suction a lingual aspect of number six. And we're just guarding, making sure that none of it leaches down into the tongue region. Just numbing up the gum tissue. Now we'll rinse it off. And now just drying it. The next step application of. Siltrax, which is a braided cord. I'm going to go ahead and grab my smaller mirror now. You okay underneath? Everything good? Okay. Okay, retracting now. We're no anesthetic, just topical anesthetic here, no other anesthetic forms. You can actually see a little remnants now of the old composite that was there. So this tooth has been restored in the past. See it right, right in that middle region right there. I'm using just a simple periodontal probe. And you can see the little braids in this core. Beautiful. There's absolutely nothing in there. It's plain. Its job is to just put pressure to the gum tissue. And we also have on this side an explorer. And that kind of grabs it and pushes it down even further. I like to push the cord in a little bit of a reverse direction so it allows for expansion. You want a little bit of expansion in the cotton. And now the cord's almost in. And how are we doing? Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. So this is the next step is going to be the preparation design. How are we going to do that? Very, very gently. That's the next step. Now occasionally, occasionally I'm going to have some water in the site. I'm going to slow down my RPMs, get it really slow and use a lot of movement. Slow movement. I'm going to double check. Air only here. Make sure everything is going good. So you can see now I'm just mapping the area, mapping it. I'm actually just going dentin, and now here I am in enamel, and I'm going to put a couple little marks going out, a little starburst kind of thing. Okay. 
Now the next thing I'm going to ask for is something called consepsis. What we call cavity cleanser. Consepsis is the next thing. that off. Now you see there's a slight amount of stain right here. I'm just going to get that with with my scaler. And this should be it. Let me just put this up in there and we scale that away perfectly. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Next step. Ever so slight blanching now. You see that? That's just from pressure. That's all it is. We're going to go ahead and use a 37% phosphoric. Uh, it's a very mild acid. goes on the tooth in that region. You can see almost immediate bubbling in the dentin. Tubules, that is. That's a release of carbon dioxide. That's exactly what that is. Virtually no pain whatsoever in this procedure. If anything, she feels a little bit of pressure around the gum line. We'll come back to that at the end. We'll talk about how to polish the restoration. Okay, now that's actively going in and cleaning the dental tubules. Now we're going to give it a good rinse. And now, before I say anything else, we're going to be using something called an air-air syringe. Air-air syringe, that means there's no water, it's filtered air, and just a light application of air to dry it off. And now we're going to lower the light of the microscope, and we're going to go ahead and apply the adhesive. Now I'm going to rub this in for approximately 20 seconds. Why is that? We want to get this to really penetrate now well into the dental tubules, which are nice and open and carefree right now. I spoke to many clinicians. Techniques are very similar, and uh, it's nice to see results that are long-lasting. So we're rubbing that into place. And now what I'm going to do is just lightly thin it down and then light cure that. All right, we'll be right back after our curing and our application process. <laughs> 